Karoli Simonyi, born in Budapest in Hungary and known in the West as Charles Simonyi, was a child prodigy. He could do anything and he taught himself to program before he even got to secondary school. He came over here and started to work for Microsoft where the Windows operating system was just starting to come in. Well, being the hotshot programmer he was, he sat down and had a think about how programming languages like this should work. And he came up with a way of doing things that has now stood the test of time for the last 20 odd years or so. Let me show you. Most people think that Bill Gates and Microsoft invented Windows. Well, they invented the name Windows, but the idea of windowing systems GUI interfaces, to give them their proper title, was actually invented by Xerox, the photocopier people. They didn't believe that photocopiers would have much of a life. They thought the paperless office was coming. So they set up a research establishment at Palo Alto and invented all sorts of wonderful stuff. Bill Gates and his opposite number at Apple, Steve Jobs, got invited to go down and have a look. And that's where Windows came in. And for Windows, you need a programming language. And that sort of language is called visual programming. A visual program is made up of two parts. There's the bit that the user sees, the screen. And then there's the code that lies behind that screen. And that's completely separate. Charles Simonyi thought it would be a good idea to allow the user to be able to do things on the screen. Press a button, select a, an object from a drop-down list, click on an option. When the user does that, it triggers something called an event. An event just means, hey, I've pressed the button or I've chosen something from the drop-down list. And when an event happens, the program will search through the code to see if that event has some tasks it needs to do. If it does, it does those tasks. And that's quite a clever idea. He also invented the idea of each thing on the screen having its own little code. So a button would start with BTN, a form would start with FRM, an option button would start with OPT and so on and then you gave it their proper names after that. That way when you're writing computer programs in a visual language you know exactly what it is you're playing with at the time and that makes your programming a lot easier. One of the things that you have to learn when you program is that you rename first then you write the code. Your life will be so much easier.